at the booth of Anwar Defense at uh, ADEX uh, 2023, there is also a wide range of different types of air defense systems, including laser trucks and also anti-tank gun system with two barrel 40 mm cannon and also anti-drone system. Hana Aerospace Hello, my name is Park Man Young, working on aerospace at the Department of Air Defense or Weapon Systems. And I am also in charge of export of those weapon systems. For for a brief introduction, this as you obviously you see it has a 40 millimeter cannon, air defense cannon on it. The, the special characteristics are the two things. It can be remote, remotely controlled. It has uh, underground optical cables for operations and also it can go unmanned. First up, uh, you see the trucks, the vehicle with a radar mounted on it. It detects the enemy from within the 15 kilometer range. For up to, it's, it's a very refined radar. It can, it can detect up to 0.03 RCS. And if the enemy falls within that range, it sends the information to the engagement control center, the, the white, uh, white frame, then it controls uh, whether to engage or not, and to all the unmanned uh, 40 mm cannons there. Uh, cannons are unmanned, and cannons can attack the enemy within the range of 4 kilometers. All these uh, equipments, when, when put together, can be stationed in a civilian city, a me metropolitan area, because the munitions that it uses designed in a special way not to make civilian casualty and casualties and also these units can be deployed to different types of uh, terrains, mountain, mountainous terrains and other uh, severe terrains uh, for the military use. The cannons can be connected up to maximum eight cannons. Eight cannons. Uh, we basically were designed for four cannons uh, as a minimum. So you can engage in four to eight uh, enemy uh, air assets with a turnover time six seconds. So we attack maximum eight enemy, and then after six seconds we come back, attack again the another fleet up to of eight enemies. Uh, for the 40 millimeter cannons, we have three types of uh, munitions for that. One is non-explosive uh, munition. Without explo explosion, it goes right through the uh, aircraft airframe. And for the second type, it's a multi-composite munitions, which is under under it. There are also three types, subtypes of uh, munitions. One is a proximity, uh, proximity munition, which is uh, explos exploded when it gets close to the enemy uh, asset. And next is the time time limit uh, munition. The third one is the shock, shock munition. And it's the shock, it, explos ex it explodes. This cannon uh, can, can be loaded with maximum 192 rounds. The fire speed is 600 munitions per minute, so that's 10 rounds per second. We have already had a very similar uh, type of system for the single bearer. This is twin barrel. The single bearer has been developed already, the development complete. However, we are working on uh, developing this for the twin barrel system. Now, a lot of work has been uh, done already. We are at a level nine stage of the development. And on demand, if there's a demand, we can Im immediately begin uh, the finalizing the development, which is designing a stage of the development. We are ready for the finishing the development. Yeah, Hana Aerospace. Uh, hello, my name is uh, Na Byung Suk, uh, working for Aerospace uh, Laser Air Defense Department. I'm the head of the department here in uh, Air Hana Aerospace. Basically, for the first uh, item, you see the laser anti uh, weapon block one. We have worked with, closely worked with, Korea Defense Scientific Research Institute for more than 10 years, for more than 10 years to develop this uh, weapon. The development is complete at the end of this end of this year. And we are looking toward, we are looking forward to deploy this weapon uh, early next year uh, for the first time in the world. We have done a lot of research to optimize on all areas of this uh, laser defense system, and we are looking looking forward to uh, prepare for uh, potential future operations against the enemy uh, anti an enemy uh, drone fleet. So, in general, uh, in including Hana Aerospace and for many other defense uh, corporations, they do not generally uh, disclose too much information about the power of the laser. So, uh, so, so we won't be. So, a lot of re information remain confidential. However, for this block one, uh, especially this one, is mainly designed to target the small drones. Small drones and small unmanned drones and multi-copters.
is the task for the go Korean government now to come up with specific specs for that uh, mobile mobile one. But so so we for now we have no uh, specific requirements uh, for the Korean military yet. We are looking forward to uh, hear from the Korean government for the for the future uh, needs and requirements. I am Jong Un Han, working for Hana Systems. Uh, as a general manager, my role is introducing anti-drone solution of HANA systems. We provide anti-drone solution. Anti -drone solution. Anti -drone solution. And these three equipments are uh, those three that are used and will be mounted on the vehicle. We explain these equipments this way. These are mobile and close-range anti-drone fleet, uh, multi-layer composite air defense systems. So this uh, protection works when the enemy drone fleet uh, comes within the five kilometer boundary. When it's within the three kilometer, uh, first is jammer, jammer. We, we try to jam the drones. If that fails and it, if it gets closer to, closer than two kilometers, we try uh, drone hunters. Drone hunters, we either capture it or just drop it. In case, if it gets closer than one kilometer, uh, we use the laser cannons, uh, laser machines to uh, drop the enemy drone fleets. 저희 그 탐지 레이더는 this radar, uh, AESA radar, AESA radar is installed in it. It can uh, detect the enemy fleet uh, up to five kilometer distance. Because it's AESA, it can detect even low speed and low altitude enemy uh, drone fleets as well. So this is uh, EO and IR uh, equipment. First, we have said that radar first detects the enemy. And within that five kilometer distance, this machine detects the enemy and tr starts tracking that uh, drone fleet as well. However, this equipment, when that enemy fleet comes closer than three kilometers, it does the recognition of friendly or foe, friend and foe. This equipment uh, is able to do that uh, day and night. So previously, we saw this uh, EO and IR decides if that drone is uh, enemy or foe, uh, friend or foe. If we decide that uh, drones is a threat, this jammer jams the enemy fleet, uh, cuts off all the uh, si electric signals within the three kilometer boundary. That's the first attack. Explanation, this jammer keeps track of that enemy beginning of the five kilometer distance as well. Yeah, we ha it has a fa uh, 40 degree angle seeing the enemy. The next, the second stage of attack is when uh, the, the enemy air, uh, drone fleet comes closer than two kilometers. The drone hunter you see right there uh, is autonomous drive, autonomous navigation. When the, dro the drone hunter is deployed, it either throws uh, captures and retrieve the, the enemy drone fleet or to drop it by throwing the net. In case the enemy drone fleet escaped the, the, the two series of attacks, for the last attack, we prepare a laser gun. That's for either the losing the direction of the flight or just drop the fleet.